Hello there! Welcome back to episode of Nat Cat's Ratchet Salon. That was really terrible. So today I am actually doing my niece's hair at my house and um, we're doing a little balayage on it. So I thought maybe you guys might like to see my favorite pattern for when I myself am doing a balayage on someone else. She has very fine hair. Um, so it will be the pattern that I use on my fine haired clients. So as far as product usage goes today I will be using Redken flash lift. It actually has the peach binder built inside Which I highly recommend if you're doing blondes that are already blonde, but like want to go lighter It's really gonna help protect the hair from a lot of damage that lightener can cause um, but It's just like a little bit of extra insurance for you and for the client so like my foils my rat tail comb gloves because protection a bowl and brush and then I've got four clips here because I do a four quadrant section for this and then I've got 20 ball because her hair is fine and I don't think I'm gonna need anything heavier than that and I really hate putting my clients under a dryer I feel like it's unnecessary um, low and slow protects the hair keeps it from falling off the head and that's a good thing so let's get cracking I like to have my lightener at a nice creamy consistency. Anything too thick will be too hard to put on. Anything too liquidy is not gonna blend well. So you'll see I start parting my niece in a four quadrant section. Um, I am actually using her natural part. Um, that way I know exactly where the balayage is going to lay on her head. And then I'm just uh, sectioning the back two bits down the middle because it doesn't really matter. Juice your luck at that. All right, I'm starting off by going around the perimeter of her head and doing micro foils or baby lights, whatever you'd like to call them. Um, she does wear her hair up in like messy buns and ponytails quite a bit. Um, so this is going to keep her from looking too dark whenever her hair is up in a bun. She's still gonna have blonde pieces around her face and it's gonna lighten her up, brighten her up, make her look like the little ray of sunshine that she is. Um, I usually do two per section. That way there's enough coverage for texture to make a difference. I feel like if you just do one, I mean, it's nice, but two is better. <laughs> and I'm just doing this all along her natural hairline. and doing the same thing on the other side. I just didn't film it because that would be monotonous. Um, starting with the balayage now, I'm actually taking a, what I call a zipper pattern. So it's angled away from her hairline, the very first section. And I do an opposite angle with the lightener. So if I'm angling the top point from right to left, like left being the highest, I'll take the lightener and I'll put it on the right side at the highest point. That way her dimension is going from her hairline down into her nape. And this is going to brighten her up more around her face than anywhere else, which is where your hair would naturally lighten in the sun. This almost makes a T shape with the foils, if that helps you with your placement at all. And now that I am up to the top section where I'm actually hitting her part whenever I'm sectioning, I'm gonna stop doing the zipper pattern and I'm just going to take angled slices. And again, um, I'm placing my lightener where it will be lightest around her face. And I'm not quite going all the way to her part with the lightener, I'm just blending it up into the part. That way she'll have an easier time growing it out. She'll have a, a softer blend instead of it being right on the scalp and it growing out and being very obvious. Because she is only 15 here, I believe. This was filmed back in like January and I just haven't done the voiceover for it because I didn't want to. Thank you. 
Alright, and as I'm getting to the last piece, I don't want to pull this one all the way up to her scalp just because we have to fade into the back portion at some point in time and this seems like a good point in time to do it. <laughs> Alright, moving on to the back, I'm doing that perimeter baby light again. Just to, again, just to make sure that her ponytails are light and bright. And she doesn't have just a big ball of blonde in her elastic and her natural color everywhere else. Oops. Yeah, if your foil slips, just readjust it, it's no big deal. Can y'all hear Sven in the background? <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder if you can hear that. My daughter has like a, a toddler sized Sven that she can ride. And whenever you hold the antlers and shake the head, he goes rah, rah. <laughs> She actually snapped one of the antlers off the other day because she's the Hulk apparently. Whenever you're doing balayage and baby lights and stuff like this, if you if your intention is not to lighten what has already been lightened, try to do the least amount of overlapping possible. All right, I've already done the baby lights on the other side. Y'all, I am so sorry that I could not capture this sectioning for you the way I intended. I don't know if I like bumped my camera or what, but I had it lined up and it's not lined up anymore. But anyway, I'm doing the zipper pattern back here again but instead of worrying about angling my lightener in the back here because this is the interior and it wouldn't really be um like hit by the sun naturally i'm just kind of brushing it up as high as i want in the sectioning and then i'm taking my zipper pattern and on the side where um like see right here i'm in the center doing it so i'm not really angling it that much but when i when i zipper to like where it's parallel with her hairline. I am angling it up towards her face a little bit more. That way she has like a nice horseshoe shape when this is all said and done. And I've done it on both sides now. So I actually, once I get to like the top center portion of her head, the top center back portion of her head, I'm going to converge the two sections and start doing V shapes in the back. And this is going to give her um, very natural looking highs and lows in the back. That way she has a little bit of her natural, hi baby, happy <laughs> happy. That way she has a little bit of her natural coloring um, still in that top portion of her hair. doing the last foil here the same way. And I pulled this one up a little bit higher just because in the grand scheme of things, this is barely gonna show. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, yeah. But it's gonna give her some nice dimension in the back there. Um. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who is that? Is that KK? KK. It's KK. Look at her pretty hair. And this is what her hair looks like outside of the foils um, after I pulled them out. And then I just toned her with a purple shampoo because she wanted more of a natural type blonde. So it wasn't that, uh, was, it didn't need a toner in my opinion. I think it looks pretty without one. Just a nice purple shampoo on it. The lighting in my basement is terrible and I'm sorry for that, but I did what I could. You can see she has a really nice dimension up here in the top. And there is her hair up in a ponytail. And you can see she still has that nice. Yes, it's KK. You can see she has dimension. 
Mommy? And this is my niece's hair in the salon that I work at. She was getting an updo done for a school dance because she's getting so old. Anyway, uh, this is it curled and styled and in good lighting. So it was a very decent balayage. I'm very happy with the results and good luck with them, I suppose. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>